So we have eliminated every single man in the 20th Connecticut except for Robert Martindale. Yeah. We prove that that grave today is Section D, grave 2469. Wow. Good job. Good job. Pretty amazing. Yeah. That I mean, the documentation still exists. Yeah, today. and the uh, and the smarts to know how to use it. Yeah. He's just down the hill. Well, let's go see him. Okay. Let's go. I, the men that were killed on this line, they were brought back to this area and taken to um, a section of ground that was open and buried in, in makeshift graves. Uh-huh. So this this is here, right around here is where they would would take him. Right right in here is where he was he was buried. So, Immediately after he was killed. Wow. But this is not the end of the line. No. For Robert. It isn't? No. Why is that? In 1866, yeah. in 1867, over the entire area of the Atlantic campaign, yeah. men came down and they very carefully and very meticulously went to these makeshift cemeteries. Yeah. They would take these men and reinter them. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So he might be, have been moved? He might have been moved from this area and placed into a national cemetery. Where, in Washington or something? About 20 minutes up the road is where many is of these right? men were taken, the Marietta National Cemetery. Can we go there? We sure can. Oh, my god. The Marietta National Cemetery was established after the Civil War. It is the final resting place for around 10,000 Union soldiers killed during Sherman's Atlanta campaign. Although great care was taken in moving the bodies, 3,000 Marietta graves remain unidentified. When they came back in 1866 and 1867 to reinter these men, mm -hmm. they documented every grave they went to. And then when they brought them here and reinterred them, they put all the documentation together, and they are in books in the National Archives. Okay. Now, this morning, we talked about Robert being buried in a cemetery downtown. Near the train track. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I've compiled a complete listing of every single man who was killed with the 20th Connecticut in the Atlanta campaign. The next thing we had to do is we had to prove one at a time all the burials of the 20th Connecticut men. So, so you're trying to eliminate the ones that you know? Yes. Right. We've only one man we have not accounted for 100%, Robert Martindale. OK. This is the documentation that shows the men who were pulled up from that cemetery and brought here. Wow. Uh -huh. OK. We're looking for a 20th Connecticut. If you might take a look, this says. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Unknown. OK. Supposed to be a member of 20th Connecticut. Connecticut. Buried two miles north of the car shed down on, at the Marietta Road. Where we were this morning. Yes, and he was brought here into the cemetery. Into where we're sitting now. Exactly. So we have eliminated every single man in the 20th Connecticut except for Robert Martindale. Yeah. We prove that that grave today is Section D, grave 2469. Wow. Good job. Good job. Pretty amazing. Yeah. That I mean, the documentation still exists. Yeah, today. and the uh, and the smarts to know how to use it. Yeah. He's just down the hill. Well, let's go see him. Okay. Let's go. I am speechless. I'm gobsmacked. To think if I hadn't contacted Brad when I did. He might not have put the missing pieces together to finally find my great-great-grandfather. It's nice that somebody bothered to find and make unanonymous Robert Martindale. Is that a six? I think that's it. 2469. Amazing. 
Just an ordinary soldier, you know? Mm-hmm. Simple little stone after a long journey. It's a nice little stone. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like it. Well, that is great to have. It's a great thing to have. Yeah, I wish my father was, I wish my whole family was here. Five foot five, brown hair, gray eyes. Well, bless his little heart. It will be noted what you came up with? It's gonna be noted. Wow. I'm gonna submit all the paperwork to the VA in the cemetery, and it'll be noted for all future generations. Deserves it. I'm amazed what a, what a uh, complete journey it, it turned out to be.